so I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I normally do my makeup throughout the day. Um, for the day. Because I have a port wine stain birthmark. And personally, my choice a lot of the time is to cover it. I really admire people who can just not cover it and just be proud of themselves. I'm not quite at that stage yet. I'm working there. I'm working towards that. But right now I feel most comfortable covering my makeup most of the time. Um, especially when I'm at work because I just don't really want the rude comments from customers or I just don't want to have to explain myself all day long. Um, I feel like it's a little easier like online or in pictures or with people I know who are like out and about because a lot of people know what it is or they're not going to be judgmental about it or try to look at me in a negative way. But basically when I see YouTube tutorials for makeup, sometimes I feel like, oh, well, I can't w use that because I have to use my other makeup and cover my birthmark up. Or, oh, I have to do this. I can't use that. Or, I can't not use concealer. I can't use this product because the oil is going to make my concealer come off. So I just get a lot of feelings like that. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what the normal makeup routine for me is when I do mine. So, I'll get right into it. You always want to use your little moisturizer first. I use this Perfecting Day Cream uh, from Murad. I got it in my Ipsy. I already put this on to save a little bit of time for my long rant at the beginning. And now I just dropped it and I don't know where it went. I'll find it later. Next, you're going to put on your primer. I use this one from Huda Beauty. also got it in my Ipsy. I am kind of an Ipsy addict right now. Oh, I gotta pay my Ipsy bill today. That's right. I think it's today. I'm sure I'll get an email if it's... If I forgot to set up the right one. So I just kind of put my primer on. My face. Definitely want to make sure I get it down here. So my Port Wine Stain Birthmark is not just on my skin right there, but it's also in my teeth. I mean, on my gums, not on my actual teeth. And on the inside of my lip. I always get dentists asking about it when I would go when I was a kid. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Dermablend powder. I hear a lot of people talking about the Dermablend concealer. I haven't tried their liquid one. I tried their stick one. I actually have one with me, but personally I don't really like it compared to the one that I use now. I just feel like the one that I use now works a little better for me. But I do like this little powder thing that they have. The cool thing about this is you're going to put it on the back of your hand and you're just going to rub it around and it's going to turn from a powder into a cream. See that? It's kind of amazing. I'm just going to dab it onto here. It really helps to take away some of that redness. And I really, really admire people who can go with no makeup on their birthmark and just kind of be proud of it and show it. I'm not quite at that stage yet. I'd like to be, but I'm just not. Which is okay. It's gonna be perfect. Next thing, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, which I bought at, I think, Walmart. So this is basically what I put all over my face because when you have a birthmark, you... When you have a birthmark and you try to cover it with makeup, it's really, really hard to do it without having to put makeup all over your face. So I just kind of put a little bit of BB cream all over so it's not as like thick and opaque as foundation, but I've still got makeup on my entire face. So it won't look weird to just have makeup on my birthmark. And... 
my like makeup routine for this has kind of changed over the past 12 years, almost 13. Um, because I was 10 when my mom bought me my first concealer and told me that I was now allowed to cover it if I wanted because I came home from school crying all the time because all the kids said that I had a rash or that I had a disease, that I was contagious. And being not only the chubby girl in class, but the girl with the birthmark, I didn't have any friends. So my mom finally let me start covering it when I eventually went to a new school. Surprise, I had friends. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little extra BB cream over here. It's funny because you'd think that it would only be kids, but it really is adults too. Now this is a concealer I've been using for 12 years. This is the Physician's Formula Conceal RX in Fair Light. I could probably go a little bit darker now. I think they have a slightly darker shade because I'm a little bit more like tan than I was, even though I'm still super pale. What I like about this BB cream is see, you can still kind of see stuff through it. Like, I'm not covering everything up with my skin. You still see it have zits, obviously. But, it just, it kind of helps bring things down a little bit. Like, my birthmark is a lot less pronounced than it was without it. And I'm not saying that anyone should cover their birthmark or anything. I'm just saying that this is what I'm comfortable with. And even though when I see other people with their birthmarks, and I think that they look beautiful and they look amazing, I'm still just self-conscious of mine because it's something that I've hidden for years. I would probably sooner let someone see me naked that I didn't know in my personal life than I would let them see my birthmark. But it's different on, like, social media and stuff because... It's just easier to feel a little confident. I actually went about a year with one person that I was dating for over a year, not knowing that I had a birthmark. Because I made sure to cover it up in the bathroom with this all the time. When I wake up, when I go to bed, I always wonder, why do you sleep with your makeup on? Take it off, it's bad for your skin. Like, mm, I just forget makeup excuses, you know? Just because I didn't want them to see my birthmark. I think the last girl I dated didn't even know I had a birthmark. I don't think she ever found out. Where I'm at in my life now, I would definitely... Okay. People know, definitely now, that I have it. If I'm close friends with them, it's just seeing it. It's different. I don't know. It's a big complicated thing. So as you can see, I've covered up my birthmark mostly here with this, but now it looks, it doesn't match as much. So I'm going to take a tiny bit on my finger. I'm going to kind of go on up the side. I want to make it symmetrical. Not completely symmetrical because I don't need all that concealer on this side. But I just want to make it blend in a little bit more and kind of bring it up so it matches that. I know a lot of people use brushes for like their concealer and stuff or like, like I have a beauty blender. I've just only tried it once and I didn't even know you were supposed to get it wet. So that yeah, was probably not how you're supposed to do it. But I just like using my hand for my makeup. It's just easiest for me. So. Next thing I'm going to do, because you can see I have makeup on my lip, I always just take it right off my finger. 
So I put this one first and this one. And then I just kind of mix it up there. I'll be putting lip balm on at the end, which kind of helps with that too. Next thing I'm going to do, take my setting powder, which I also got from Ipsy. It's by Tarte. And it has a cool little, like, got the mirror on top of here and the setting powder. And then this little thing. And I can just... I don't know if I'm using setting powder right. I mean, the loose powder. But it's usually powder on it when I pick it up on the brush. I usually actually use a big brush for my powder. Like this one. I just really like this little thing. Alright. Now I need a lip balm. always takes me a while to actually find my makeup in my bag because I have a lot of makeup. Everybody says that I have a problem with that. So today I'm just going to go with this lip balm right here. Another Ipsy. It is by La Muse Deep Color Lip Balm Poppy. Oh, La Muse. It sounds like a muse, but it's also muse. Probably not intended at all. I do have a, another little makeup thing. This is my Derma Blend stick by the way. It's my backup. It's my emergency what I keep in my makeup bag if I need it. It was $30. I'm not going to waste it. I do have another little makeup thing that I want to show eventually if you guys like this one. Where, because my lips are not symmetrical at all. Got This is bigger on this side and it kind of slants. And you got this. When I smile, you can see a little more. And you can also see the birthmark on my teeth. Um, but I do have a way of making my lips look more symmetrical. With different colors of lipstick or lip gloss. Whatever I'm using. But I do want to show you guys eventually too. And next I'm just going to do my little eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them up today. I don't feel like using any like thing to darken it or anything. My eyebrows are already pretty dark. I miss getting my eyebrows waxed. I don't know if they're doing it again now or not. But I really want to look into it. I don't like getting them like threaded. Because waxing hurts a lot less than threading for me. And threading is just kind of irritating the little, like, pluck, 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 you know? Almost done. My eyebrows still look kind of crazy, but whatever. And I'm just going to do a simple little makeup look today. I don't really care about going too fancy. I am going to use some eyeliner. I'm going to use a brown one. Wait, is this brown or black? It's black. I'm going to use a black one. Oh boy. My eyeliner takes a second. I have three minutes left before my camera dies, so let me do this off camera. So I got my eyeliner done. I feel like this kind of look was really popular in like the I don't know, 2010s? Like every girl had their eyeliner like this in middle school, in high school. Put some, eye, put some mascara on. When I said I thought, when I said my camera was going to die in three minutes, I didn't mean my camera was going to die. I meant that I had three minutes left of recording. Because for some reason, I can only do 
videos of a certain length. But the length is never the same. It's not like a 30 minute thing. It's like sometimes I have 17 minutes. Sometimes I have 22 minutes. I think it's like some kind of thing with my phone storage. So maybe I need to go in and like delete some stuff. Move all the pictures of my cats, which are all my pictures, into my Google Photos. And then I could just do like a little highlighter if I wanted. Yeah. We'll just go with this brush. It's a big brush, but who cares? My cheeks. There. Ignore my unfortunate nails. Ooh, okay, maybe a little too much. I kind of move my brush in weird ways while I'm trying to do this. It's like when I'm painting. When I'm painting, I do all kinds of weird things to my brush and stand in all sorts of weird ways and I'm just getting really into my drawing, you know? I'm accidentally drinking the paint water, so literally getting some of the drawing or the painting in me. But yeah, and after this, I'm just gonna take whatever setting spray that you like and just okay. All right, I sprayed myself with my setting spray, and we are done. This is my makeup look, and you wouldn't even know I had a birthmark if you didn't know. And I think it's a cool little nice look, and just lip balm so not too much wearing off in your mask. I have 16 seconds left, so thank you so much for watching this, and let me know if you want any more. Bye-bye.